I 3D scanned my friends' heads and made chess figures out of them, and this was their reaction. Oh, Alter! Nein! <laughs> and this is how it all started. Morning. So I got this idea, and I think it's a good idea. And that doesn't happen often that I have good ideas. So I was just about to finish university. I have my bachelor's presentation now, or in a few hours. So I held it, I'm finally done with university, but I thought, wouldn't it be nice to have some kind of memory, something special, and not just a photo book. Don't get me wrong, photo books are nice, but I think we can do better. And just a few weeks ago, Creality sent me an otter. Not the Notter Otter uh, 3D scanner. It's called the Creality Otter Light. <coughs> <coughs> ah, bless you. Thank you. Again. So I thought, why not use the 3D scanner they sent me for testing purposes, scan the heads of my friends I made at university, and turn them into chess pieces. I mean, what else would you do with a 3D scanner? Anyways, originally I had planned to do this project with Bamboo Labs Stature Makers AI tool, which is great, but there's a big difference between the generated AI file and your actual face. But now I happen to find this thing in my hand, a machine you can use to scan faces, objects, bodies, literally anything. So the first thing I did is scan my friend's head and that looked like this. <laughs> Scanning objects like this with a 3D scanner was actually easy and was super fast as well. However, if you want to scan a head, that's a different level. Especially my friend's hair made a lot of problem. He kind of had a hole in his head. I think he always had a hole in his head. But having a hole in your head when you want to 3D print it, that's an actual downside. So I ended up visiting him and scanning his head again. So I'm on the way to my friend right now to skin his face for the third time, but it's my fault. And I am late like always. Here you can see how I was actually struggling with this hair. I mean, it is possible, but it really takes its time. And now I needed to figure out a way how to merge my friend's head with the chess piece by still making obvious which figure is which. Not like these ones. I really like the minimal chessboard, but telling the difference between the figures is not that easy. I had the scan in Creality software called Creality Scan, and then I needed to create a solid body. You can then convert the mesh straight to Fusion 360, or you can use free software like Mesh Mixer and Instant Meshes to edit your file in advance. Then you will have an easier time in Fusion 360. I ended up using four different programs, and figuring that out took ages. There already is a really great tutorial about the process, so I will link it down in the description. Oh, and usually my computer never gets hot, but Creality Scan got my computer actually sweating. However, after I finally figured out how everything works together, I started with my first figure, which was the tower. Hey, 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 this is actually kind of cool, I think. This is my friend Felix, and I'm just not about sure if I should put his face here or here. But I think that's kind of cool already. So the thing is, Victor kind of looks like a horse. It's not his face, I don't know if it's his appearance, it's more like his hair. So Victor, if you see this, please don't take it personally. idea was that every single piece has its own place within the chessboard, however... Why am I doing this? Dude, I'm done. Fuck it. Take a look. It's buffering for like 10 minutes again. I gave up on that idea, but I had a different plan. 
I still wanted to be able to transport all the figures within the chessboard. I found this foldable and portable chessboard, which I think might be awesome, so I will give it a try. To make it short, I do not recommend this chessboard. I mean, look at it. It's exploring all kind of new angles. Once you bend it, it's, it's like Elton John. Not really straight. I also wanted to make magnets in here, but on Maker World I can just find the STL and not the step file. So instead of the chessboard, I first focused on the chess figures, which was actually quite exciting. But before, I want to take 30 seconds and thank you guys for supporting the channel and also Creality. They were so nice and sent me over their 3D scanner for testing purposes, and without them, this video wouldn't have been possible. With the Creality Auto Lite, I have scanned small things like this computer mouse, and also really massive things like my electric unicycle. And even though it's mostly black, I didn't need any reflectors or scanning spray. Cutting out the unnecessary parts around the mouse was pretty simple with the software. And also here, it was a really good and easy scanning experience. With up to 30 FPS, the scanner actually provides a really smooth scanning experience. And if you want to know more about the scanner, you can check the link in the description. Thank you so much, Creality, for trusting me with this 3D scanner. And let's get back to the video. I have never been so happy to have two 3D printers at the same time. I know I bought my first 3D printer one year ago and I always told myself I will never need two 3D printers. Two over here, one at my parents' place and the other one is printing the figures right now which look actually really nice. Good morning. So I just woke up and I lost my head. Take a look. That's me. The other ones are fine though. We have two losses, but that's okay. The other one worked really well. And I'm super impressed with the pawns. I do think they look great. Nice, at least some success. Good morning, guys. I printed this overnight and I think we were successful. This looks pretty damn good. After succeeding with the figures, I went back to the chessboard. But while printing the chessboard, I ran into some problems. So this is now the second time that my print just kind of failed over here. So I tried it again with the monochronic and yeah, it just doesn't work. So if you ever want to print a chessboard yourself, you can try it with the original pie plate, but I do recommend you a cool plate or a smooth plate. I guess you can use any smooth plate, I don't know, but I got the one from BQ and it looks so much better. I'm really positively surprised. What a day. I haven't been filming much, but I did what I always do. I just came up with my own chessboard because I feel like the things on Maker World are nice, but they don't hit your specific needs most of the time. So in the background is my chessboard. It's almost done. And I included some magnets. We did it, we got our chessboard. I'm super excited. This is version one out of six. I haven't tried it out yet, so let's try it out together. This is the inside of the chessboard. It has a divider. I would have loved to have a hole for each individual figure, but that would just have been too much. We got four magnets here in every corner, and this is the top of the chessboard. It worked well. I'm happy with the outcome. It also includes a magnet on every side, which means in theory, we can just snap it on. And yes, <laughs> this kind of works. Kind of, it's not the strongest, but it works. And now my friends, it's time to put these figures on the game. And they should also just stick on, kind of. Yes, 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 this works. Haha, <laughs> this is cool. The great thing about designing things yourself is you can have it just like you want it. No compromises. And this is Felix with some really interesting hairstyle. I think the failed print was next to him. That's interesting though, maybe I will leave it. This is so nice. The other figures are still in process right now because I didn't have any magnets anymore. But I think this is so convenient. The magnets are not really strong, they are just strong enough. The question you might have, can I recommend this project? 
Absolutely not. It took a lot of time and it was a steep learning curve. If you consider buying a 3D scanner like this, keep in mind it's not plug and play, but as soon you figure out how it works, it's a great tool. And I don't want to miss it anymore. If Creality was able to get the functions of Mesh Mixer and Instant Meshes into their own software, I see a huge potential. The build quality of the scanner actually amazed me. It feels really good and really solid. You can connect it wirelessly to your phone. And overall, I have been really impressed with this device. Just the workflow of the software could be better. So Creality, if you see this, if the software gets better, 3D scanners will be plug and play at some point. And then everyone wants a 3D scanner because you can just scan things and it's amazing. Meaning, if you're looking to get started with 3D scanning, the Otterlite might be actually a great option, especially because of the lower price tag compared to other 3D scanners. And yes, I just changed the wall in the process of the video, so please don't get confused. I hope you like it. I like it. I don't care if you like it. I think it's great. So if you have questions about the 3D scanner or want to learn how to create yourself as a chess figure with Bamboo Labs Stature AI, which obviously won't be as accurate, let me know in the comments down below. Now it's time to surprise my friends with the chessboard and see their reactions. I'm super excited. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something today. If you're still here, I would really appreciate a sub or a like or a comment just to boost the channel so that I can do projects like this in the future. Thank you so much to everyone who has already subscribed because without you, I wouldn't have been able to test this 3D scanner. Let's surprise my friends and see you soon. So my friend the pawn is about to come by and I built a little setup which looks really really unprofessional. But the theory is that you can pull here and this thing should lift up. I hope that works. Oh, <laughs> oh Alter! <laughs> Yo! Dank aus! Oh! Was da das da Chris? <laughs> Nein! Nein, es sieht Hammer aus.